Hello and welcome to Queendom TV. Today I'm going to be talking about one of our favourite Hollywood witches that we are exposing on this channel, none other than Lou M. Taylor, also known as Lucifer Taylor. And I've been diving deep, guys, and I have to tell you, the scariest thing about this woman is she is one of the most difficult people to find information about online. Like, one of the most difficult people to find information about online. But I'm still going to stick with it, guys. I'm still going to be going. So if you do enjoy this content, if you do want to hear more, hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts about Lou in the comment section down below and like the video. Also, check out my um, playlist. She's part of my Free Britney playlist. She's got her own playlist, Lucifer Taylor. And now she's also in another playlist that I've started called the Witches of Holly Weird. So check all of those out. Today we're going to talk about some other things that I have not spoken about yet. As I told you guys, there's so much to get into. Now, Lou, who happens to be the founder and one of the CEOs of TriStar Sports, Entertain and Sports and Entertainment Group, which is basically a management company. They are business managers for um, actors, writers, producers, um, and athletes and people in the entertainment, basically, and sports world. And um, just to name a few people who she's worked with, um, who we haven't mentioned previously, Jennifer Lopez, Gwen Stefani, Megan Trainer, Mary J. Blige, and of course, also Jamie Lynn. Now, these were the names I kept seeing everywhere, but I struggled to find other names. I specifically wanted more to find out about the sports people she's connected with, because we haven't really heard so much around who she's attached, um, who she's attached to in the sporting world. Um, and I would really like to know that. But what I will say is it's interesting. Um, there's some very interesting things about her that, you know, people don't really talk about. One of those things being that it just so happens that, excuse me, it just so happens that she has a 75% um, a all female workforce. So across, I think they have two main in-person offices. One I believe is in Nashville. One I believe is in California. And, um, 75% of them are women. This is absolutely shocking in the, for the sake that so many of the negative things that have happened from Lou have been affecting women negatively. Obviously, Britney Spears being one of them that she's affected negatively the most. And I talked about her husband as well, who happens to be a pastor. It's all very scary, guys. And it just goes to show that just because somebody says that they, they're they part of a certain religion or belief system, it doesn't mean that they are an actual representative of that belief system. And that's actually why I speak a lot against Lou and other people, because it's just somebody who is a Christian, as I've mentioned before. It really sickens me that these people are using... Are, are, are trying to say that what they're doing is to do with God um, when they're doing very evil and demonic things. And I'm not saying I'm speaking on behalf of God. All I'm saying is that for me and the God that I know, he doesn't mess around with things like this. This is not his ball game. In fact, this is his enemy's ball game, which would be the devil. Now, the devil's not really a big enemy to God in the sense that, you know, God is more powerful than him. But at the end of the day, people, the powers of the world are getting their power from somewhere. And I think that's where um, Lou comes into the picture. Now, the interesting thing also about Lou and her connections is um, her connection to Kris Jenner. Now, I talked about Kris Jenner and her. I've talked about them in a few videos, and I very much believe they're both part of my whole Witches of Hollywood um, kind of vibe. Um, and I see them kind of being the kind of people that behind closed doors probably um, talk a lot. And now I'll tell you what's interesting, guys. Let me tell you what's interesting. And I'm just looking at my notes if you see me looking down. Lou Taylor, for a while, has been named as an agent of persons to the Kardashians in many of their different businesses. What that means is she receives their legal correspondence on behalf of a lot of their businesses. Now, these stretched across a lot of the businesses between the girls and even up to um, Travis Scott's um, company, Cactus Jacks, which is actually, I didn't realise that he was the one who was behind Cactus Jacks. So you can just see that she is not... Her, can, her affiliation with the um, the the Kardashian-Jenner family is not just like a friendly one. It's very intimate. To be receiving the legal um, correspondence of a business is quite a lot of information. She's probably got access to their earnings, um, where they're earning, what from where. And so that, to me, is a very big, um, big um, signal that she is probably heavily and very demonically involved with this family and that's why I even said in one of my previous videos um I was talking about how I feel like her and Chris really with this whole Travis Scott Astro World thing are probably there behind closed doors doing their witch they're having a little witch meeting having a seance to try and stop a lot of the things that are happening and to try and just 
you know, manage the PR, manage a lot of the things that are going on um, with, uh, you know, just, just this Astro World thing, even with the Britney Spears thing. Funnily enough, with the Free Britney movement, actually, is that um, two weeks after Britney Spears' te live testimony that a lot of us got the chance to hear, although a lot of people did not want for people to hear it, um, the agent of person's name was changed um, so for, from being Lou M. Taylor, but, but the, the same mailing address for TriStar stayed the same. So again, probably just a quick tactic of, okay, look, I still want to be there. I'm still going to support you. My name's not looking good because Britney's saying whatever she's saying, put somebody else's name there. It's still me. And this is what I mean when I say, I talk a lot on this channel about how people just get away with things they can get away with. And a lot of people in this world are happy to even look to some level of the, um, of a bad guy if they can get away with doing what they need to do and I very much feel Lou and Chris are those kinds of people they very much give me that energy of like oh um I'm I'm a momager I'm a manager and people are going to say bad things about me but I'm just doing this for the people that I care about I'm just doing this for my clients I'm just doing this for my daughters you know all of these kinds of like I'm just doing this for the people that I care about so much I think is a massive disguise for the fact that they are just these monsters who are taking advantage who are being big puppet masters for a lot of talented and sometimes maybe slightly more naive and vulnerable people and using them for um, their own ideas. And yes, does it benefit those people? Of course, does it benefit Travis Scott to have a business manager like um, Lou M. Taylor? Absolutely. She's one of the biggest business, business managers in um, the industry. Does it benefit the Kardashians to have Kris Jenner being the kind of person she is in terms of their finances? Absolutely. I doubt they would be anywhere near as famous or rich as they are now, if not for her. But the question is, what is what are we giving up in order to have that, you know, and what are these people doing to maintain this power? Because this level of power, guys, I just don't believe it comes from, you know, just just I feel there's just so much, so much evil about it. And I wonder if even Chris had to gain off of Astro World, if Chris in her connection had to gain off of everything that's been going on. Because for me, even Chris herself is kind of doing her own now spin off. I'm wondering why all of a sudden Kim's with Pete Davidson. Courtney's with Travis Barker and it's just like even a lot of those marriages they just feel like the perfect PR people to be with you know Kim K having left Kanye and and especially because you know one of the biggest problems they were having with the Kardashians was just like um one of the biggest problems the Kardashians have been having is people calling them culture vultures how the, the girls like to always marry you know a black man and 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 kind of profit off of that you know um what you call it, culture, which I definitely believe is a thing. And it's actually scary now that I'm thinking about it, about the fact that now they've moved on to other people, but they've gone and had children with a lot of these men. And this is another way that I think people very cleverly in Hollywood, this is why a lot of these people are having children, I believe. I believe, I, I would not be shocked to find out that Chris and um, Lou had a discussion between them trying to push Travis and uh, Kylie to actually have a child. Um and because it connects the two of them and also because of the kind of ways it will connect to different areas of like the entertainment industry because Kylie her she is very much representative of her fan base and Travis was also kind of very representative of his fan base they're very different fan bases so by them being together it kind of crosses those boundaries together I wonder if that had to play into why Kylie ended up being in Cardi B and Meg The Stallion's video because you know Obviously, Kylie's being more accepted, especially in the kind of blacker sides of the communities and stuff like that. But I just think it's very interesting, these women and how there's a lot of women. Um, like I said, there's 75% of the uh, workforce of TriStar Sports Entertainment are women and how scary it is that women. And I do think and I did a video talking about witches versus angels ages ago. And it's so funny because the more and more I look into things, the more and more what I say is true. Now, one of the things about us as women and I think this is based on how we are in our personality is we are very um, spiritually sensitive. And that's why I'm quick to say that these people are witches, because I think that they are very aware of what they are doing. They are very tactful. If you think of the woman, of, of a female type of spirit, that very like feline kind of, you know, cat kind of nature that a lot of these women exude. And it's very scary because if you know anything about cats, they're extremely intelligent, more intelligent than they let you know. And the, the one of the biggest, smartest things about cats is that they make themselves look not look as um as what do you call it, as as smart as they actually are, and they kind of play dumb. And this is what a lot of women do. A lot of women play dumb, a lot of women play um like innocent or just loving because people are quick to accept that. And I talked about this in my video about um the deception of femininity, that people are quick 
are quicker to trust in a woman and not and to not question the um, intentions of a woman than they are with a man. And so I think as much as we've been talking about, you know, Epstein, Pervy Prince Andy, all these other people on here, R. Kelly and all of them, and even now um, Weinstein, we have to also address that there are also these women who are getting to kind of hide behind the fact that no one is um, suspecting them. And I think a lot of that plays is just because of how the feminine feminine energy is expressed and how people do not see that as threatening as the masculine energy and i think that's something that allows a lot of these people to get away with it but you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say also hit the like button if you did like the, the like the video and subscribe and check out my other videos i have so many different kinds of videos and um also, I'm always open to hear what you guys want me to talk about. And I still have things that you guys have said that you want me to talk about, which I'm working on. Other than that, God bless you all. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.